Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about the armor system in Dying Light 2. Also, if you love Dying Light and Dying Light 2 videos, then do subscribe since we are so close to 100k subscribers. Alright, so there's about 6 different slots for armor in the game. So you got armor for head, body, legs, arm, hand and even for foot. Now you'll be surprised to know that this 6 piece of armor can be customized to your own liking and you can choose out of 500 unique pieces of gear that you will find around in the world of Dying Light 2. Yes, the game has 500 pieces of armor and that includes all the rarity. White, green, blue, purple, orange and gold. So let's say I have 2 sets of armor. I can have a mix of both and create my own unique armor set. This thing is so different from the original Dying Light because in Dying Light the outfit is just cosmetic thing. That was just one piece outfit and we had no control over customizing anything in our armor set. Also this time the game is more RPG focused so if you played let's say Assassin's Creed or Witcher well it's just like that now. You got different armors and those armors have different effects to it. Techland sort of started testing this feature in the first game by releasing few DLCs with unique outfits. Outfits that actually had special abilities or let's say effects to it. Like some outfits help you reduce fall damage, some give you unique skill like boomerang, some reduces the chances of being grabbed by the zombie. This is Techland teasing us about what's to come in Dying Light 2. So in Dying Light 2 some armors will have stamina boost, health boost, jump boost and damage boost and more effects like that. Also this sort of explains the superhuman abilities of Aiden that we have seen in some gameplays. Let's say if you got all the abilities and your armor gives you some boost over those abilities, well you can expect some crazy moves from Aiden. Also since the game has co-op, it's really cool to see so much variety in outfits and armor pieces. I mean at least I won't see the same outfit every time and everywhere. Now that was about the armor, by the way there are a few cool things I would like to mention. You have other things in game that you can customize. You can customize your backpack, your parachute, your weapons and you even got weapon charms in the game that you can actually equip. That is honestly so amazing. Also a lot of you guys were confused when they saw the picture of Lawan, everyone thought you get to play as Lawan, but it's not that case. So guys, it's just a skin you can customize for Lawan. It even says here that she's not a playable character, so don't be confused. So guys, that was everything about the armor system in Dying Light 2. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And guys, we are one month away from Dying Light 2 and I'm sure you guys are hyped for this game. Let me know in the comments how excited you are for the game. Now, I don't know if you guys realized it, but I was actually talking really, really slow in the video and I did it on purpose. I wanted to see if you guys like that way or do you like me? like you know this way when I'm speaking really really fast so I want to know in the comment section what you guys think about it you want me to speak fast or you want me to speak slow because I understand some people won't really get what I'm saying when I'm actually speaking really fast so I want to know from you guys you know I, I can do both so I just want to know which one suits you better because I'm doing the videos for you guys you know so let me know also I have subtitles for everyone so you know, it's a win-win situation if you don't understand something I say I put subtitles in all my videos so do check it out and yeah guys thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video till then stay human and stay safe the fuck did I just say? You know what? It's over!